rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. Oh my gosh. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? You know what it is? Is that like... it's blue make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on patreon it's only five dollars a month and you get an extra video a week i'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists these white bourgeois liberals who think the only thing wrong with this country is there aren't enough bicycle paths today i'm going to be doing a reaction to bill burr and it's titled some people need lotion it's understandable with them Hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. Oh. See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. Yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? <laughs> no. I'm not what is this lotion you speak of and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new? But the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate? Because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. Alright, you got skin everywhere. Go! Check yourself out! Thank God. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. <laughs> That's no. not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? Like, what's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. And I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. Mm. Yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. No. I just I've never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot, stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. Oh, this is such a trigger for me. I literally discovered recently. I was like, oh, thank you. You think that my skin's soft? I never need lotion. I never use lotion. And like, I just hit that point in my life, like really recently, just boom. I apparently really need lotion. I need to use lotion because I take really, really hot showers. Like the highest you could try turn it all the way up and then, oh, I can't move it anymore. Um, so I think that this is actually really good timing for this video because I do know that it is very popular amongst typically more so black people. Like one of my girlfriends always would just say, oh my gosh, I'm so ashy today. It literally has lotion everywhere, like in her car, forget in her locker, like everywhere in her purse, four of them in her purse. So, uh, yeah, that kind of stood out to me. One of my friends doesn't even use lotion. She's all the way up on like that coconut oil. She will get out of the shower and lather herself in coconut oil. I was like, coconut oil? I've never done that, coconut oil. Does that make you break out? I'm over here thinking like, oh, I don't need that. And like, no, my skin's dry and I'm in my early 20s and her skin is nicer than mine and she's like 36, so. Um, it's probably why that they have nicer skin as well because they're over here taking care of it and white people are neglecting it thinking that they don't need anything and they do. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. <sighs> Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God, I'm the God, same damn, person. The <laughs> oh my gosh. See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar. 
at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. Yes. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. Oh you know, my God. You can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Right? That's so We miss funny. that shit the That's way black exactly. people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Right? <laughs> Just never got the information. Um... The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. Oh my gosh. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? You know what it is? <laughs> is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. <laughs> if he just had one white friend in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Stop. That's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do you how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car that we're just gonna go driving around with. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Ooh, I'm itchy. <laughs> so see, there you go. All right. You don't need a facelift. Okay. Lay off the booze. Do some cardio. Moisturize, you're gonna be fine. Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack, it's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. Uh -huh. They all get a giant oil drum of the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, <laughs> shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. It's glistening! That's my friend! It's a real issue. Like, I really feel like it's taken me. 20 something years and i'm like only discovering it this year and i know i probably sound stupid i'll put on lotion sometimes like oh i feel a little dry like i'll put on some lotion or oh it smells good i'll put on some but no i don't vigorously put on lotion like as a routine every day because i think that i need it i think what was really clever about this joke is that the entire skit was about how white people need lotion but the real like uncomfortable joke that makes you oh well, i didn't see that coming was when he slides in there the parallel example of how black people apparently miss the seminar for registering their weapons whereas that one just made you a little bit more uncomfortable hearing you're like oh can he say that did he just say that that's funny he just slipped it in there like it was really casual because it wasn't the point of his joke but it was really funny because he presented it that way and then he tied in both of the jokes together because if that black friend just you know had that helpful white friend um, to tell him like, oh yeah, no, you can't have that. And he starts itching and putting on this act where he's like scratching his back against the little pole like a little bear. It's really funny. I mean, all of it, his body language, how he ties both jokes in together, how he slips that one in. He's really, really great at setting it up. And I also think that he's just funny because you like listening to him, even if he's not presenting a joke yet. He's very fun to follow through a story. So all of it was super entertaining. I mean, it was only four minutes long and I definitely felt like I wanted more, but if you really look at it for a four minute long setup for a joke, it was really good. I mean, a lot of people can't be that entertaining. You're pretty bored throughout it until they get to the punchline. So I did really, really like this video. I love doing the bear reactions. It took me a second to actually find it, so I hope that this one was the right version. It kind of cut off abruptly, so you can let me know in the comments. I am sorry if it wasn't the right one. This is the only one that I could find. But anyways, I really appreciate all of you being here. Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on Instagram. The links are in the comments below. I mean bio below. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.